In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your designed template scroll sideways with the help of horizontal scroll widget by the plus add-ons. So without any further ado, let's get right in. Now before we jump into the tutorial, let me give you a little overview about this widget. As you can see, we have its live demo page open up in front of us. Talking about its key features, it offers various unique slide transition effects, can animate widgets on scroll, is performance optimized. Also if you want to disable its effect for specific responsive screens or devices, you can do that easily. So stick around till the end to know how it's done. Now when I will scroll down, we will get to see various pre-designed templates as well. On opening this one, you can notice on scrolling sideways how smoothly the background color is changing. Also if I will come back here and open this real estate website design integrated with horizontal scroll, the static image in the background is giving it a clean and unique look. Changing the background image can also be done simply, the demo of which you will find inside this file right here. Now the design we will be using in this video is this one. Opening it, as you can see at a glance, it looks very stylish and modern. If you are a pro user, you can directly copy paste any of these pre-made templates shown from here to inside your Elementor editor. If you have just subscribed, don't worry, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that as well. But first, let's make sure everything in the WordPress backend is set up for the smooth operation of this project. So, beginning from the WordPress dashboard, quickly move to the plugins section and let me show you what plugins I have. As clearly visible, I have two plugins here that are Elementor and the plus add-ons as well as its pro version. Next go to the plus settings and here in the plus widgets, we are going to check the enable all checkbox. Once that's done, click on save. Now from here go to pages, then click on add new page and let's name it horizontal scroll. After that, we will get inside the Elementor editor. It's time to build our website, so let's search for today's star widget that is horizontal scroll. Here it is, simply drag and drop it inside the canvas. Once it's done, you will see these many customization options in the side panel. You can select the template that you want to scroll sideways by opening this drop down menu here. If you don't have one, the plus add-ons gives you the option to create it from here only just by clicking this button. As you can see, a pop-up window has opened up. Now I'm a Plus Add-ons Pro user and I have already mentioned its benefit to you that I can make use of their pre-designed templates whenever I like. If you also want to make use of the template which we are just going to import here, make sure you have upgraded the Plus Add-ons to the Pro version. Now going back to the live demo page, the template we are going to use for today's project is this one. So simply click on it and let me show you how you can copy paste the design templates from here to inside your Elementor canvas. Once the design gets opened, scroll sideways and here you will see this copy button. Simply click on it and once it is copied, go back to Elementor, click this plus button and choose this single section. After that, right click on edit container and click on plus paste. That's done. Let's now repeat the same process for the remaining slides. Currently the text isn't visible on these designs because the background color is white. So let's give them a solid dark color. And that's done as well. It's time to update and close this plus add-ons pop-up window. Once you will do that, here we have our template successfully imported and scrolling sideways. Here I'm noticing some white space, so let's make some quick necessary adjustments. Click on this container, then open this content width menu and do it full width. Then go to advanced and unlink padding. At last go to style and let's set the background type as classic black. Now on scrolling sideways, you can see how smooth and sleek our design looks. A point to be mentioned is that after you reach your end slide while scrolling horizontally, the original vertical scrolling will recontinue. To clear what I just said, let me place another container below this design and copy paste one more section from the pre-designed template. Now 
Now, as you can notice when I'm moving the scroll bar, first the slides are being scrolled sideways and as soon as we reach our template slide end, it started to scroll vertically. So you saw that, right? That's a great way to give your WordPress site a unique touch and experience. Now let's explore the other customization options. Opening this one, we will get to see slide scroll effects. Its menu consists of three items, namely skew, scale and bounce. So let's choose skew. Choosing skew, we will get to see a slight bendy kind of effect in the direction we scroll. The other two options are pretty interesting as well, which you can experiment with later. But for now, let's revert to normal. Now this option here is used to give the website visitors a smooth background transition experience when scrolling from one slide to another. At present, if I scroll this design sideways, you can notice a clear difference between the colors of these two slides. When I will enable this toggle button, you will no longer see this separating line. But that is going to be a three-step process for us as we have already given our templates a background color. Though there is no need for you to worry, just follow along step by step. First, enable this toggle button. Second, we have three side scrollable slides here in the template, so adding a third item. Next, we have to put in the colors used in each of these slides by clicking on these item boxes. So clicking on item one, down here, choose its color as black. After that, click on item 2. It represents slide 2 and we can see that slide 2's color is dark brown. So let's put its code here in the color input field. Also clicking on item 3 and changing its background color to black. And it's done. But even now when you will scroll the template, you will still see that color separation because we haven't performed the step 3 that is turning off the template's original background color which we gave in the template creation part. So let's do that. Go to content and here click on edit template. Now as soon as the plus add-ons window opens up, select the container 1, open its style tab and here as you can see black color is activated. Simply click on it and set it back to default. After that, you have to do the same with the other two containers present here inside the template section. Once that's done, click on update and let's close this pop-up window. Now on closing that window and scrolling this template sideways, you can notice how smoothly the background color is transitioning. You can also control how long it should take for the color to transition from one to another by dragging this toggle button here. Also, I don't know if you have noticed, but the things we are doing with colors can also be done with images. As on clicking on these item boxes, we are given with the option to upload images as well. Amazing, right? Moving ahead, we have all these other customization options which are pretty easy to understand. On enabling their respective toggle buttons, I suggest you to watch the changes on the designed templates as you experiment with them on the go. Like for example, if I'll click here to enable RTL compatibility, you can see now the template is left side scrollable instead of the right side which it was earlier. Now let's close the scrolling options and open extra options drop down menu. Here at the top, you will find written distance after last slide. Putting in the value will add space after the last slide. If I will put here 250 and on scrolling these slides till the end, you will find this much extra space added. Only to let you know that this value is counted in pixels, so put the numbers accordingly. Next, let's discuss about this responsive visibility option which is very important for many web designers and developers out there. On enabling its toggle button and putting in the width value inside this input field here, you are basically telling the system to disable this horizontal scroll when your website is opened in any device having width lower than this much pixels. Now let me show you what I meant by it by putting in a value and opening it inside a real-time device mockup. Here you can see the difference on a laptop and a mobile phone. In the laptop having width greater than 700 pixel, horizontal scroll is working. But here in a mobile, the effect is turned off because the width of it is less than 700 pixels. So it can only be scrolled vertically. You got the idea, right? Now let's revert to our Elementor editor and it's time for me to give you a final look. Now once again reminding you that the widget we used for this tutorial is from the Plus Add-ons Pro. If you wanna upgrade it, simply head on to theplusaddons.com. Here you can check out all the 120 plus widgets and other resources. 
Once that's done, click on pricing and choose the plan that fits your needs. So that was it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you are curious and want to learn more, do check out one of our earlier videos about adding smooth preloader and page transition elements in Elementor. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting WordPress tutorials coming ahead. I'll see you in the next one. Keep learning and stay curious.